Dentistry and Oral Sciences Source, also known as DOS, is a full-text database of top dental and oral science journals. Many disciplines have subject-specific databases, which are basically collections of journals and some ebooks related to that discipline. While many dental professionals use PubMed, DOS is another one of the main go-to databases for dentistry. DOS provides indexing for over 300 dental journals and contains journals and monographs from dental and oral sciences fields, including cosmetic dentistry, endodontics, oral and maxillofacial surgery, prostodontics, and many others. This means you can search through tons of exclusively dental literature in one place. Even better, DOS also includes the full text of more than 255 of these journals, which means the full text of the articles is right there in the database. If the full text link is not included with the item, you can still access it by clicking the Get It at DAL button to see if Dalhousie Libraries has it elsewhere, which we will explore later in this video. Now, let's try accessing DOS through the Dalhousie Libraries homepage. Visit libraries.dal.ca, choose Databases, and type DOS. Then, click the magnifying glass icon to search. You will then see one result that matches, and you can click that link to be taken into DOS after logging in with your NetID and password. Worth noting is that you can also access DOS through the Dentistry and Dental Hygiene Research Guide, which can be found in the description below. Once you've logged into DOS, you can begin your search. Let's say you want to look for articles on CPAP for sleep apnea. Just like when searching for articles in any database, it's important to know what your concepts are. In this case, your concepts are CPAP and sleep apnea. The search boxes have drop-down menus beside them, which allow you to choose how to combine your concepts with AND, or, or not. In this case, I want to combine the concepts with AND. In other words, I don't want any articles that mention sleep apnea, but don't mention CPAP. So my search will be CPAP in the first search box, sleep apnea in the second search box, and I've selected AND from the small drop-down menu to combine my terms. Now click search and you will get a list of results from this search. Now let's try the search using a synonym and the OR function. CPAP is an acronym for the longer term Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. So you might want to consider using the OR to tell the database that either of those terms will be acceptable as long as sleep apnea is present also. You can include the synonym continuous positive airway pressure in the same line as CPAP, separating them with OR, and still do the search in a single step. This also works with synonyms or words that mean the same thing. I've also put continuous positive airway pressure in quotation marks. This is called phrase searching. By using quotations, I'm telling the database that I want the words to appear in that exact phrase. Once you've included all of the synonyms you want, click search. Now we have the results screen, which shows the results of our second search using CPAP or continuous positive airway pressure in quotations in the first search field and sleep apnea in the second field. By adding a synonym for the CPAP term, our number of results has increased. If the full text is available directly through DOS, you will see a full text link that says PDF full text below the article title. If you do not see a full text link, that does not mean the article is not available online. It just means the full text is not right there in DOS. Just click Get It at DAL and have a look at the access options. If you see an option for electronic full text, you should be able to select the Go button and click through to the full text. As always, even if Dalhousie is not able to provide immediate access to the full text for you, you can order most items through document delivery. For more information on using our document delivery service, check out the link in the description below. Let's go back to the results screen again. 
There are a number of ways to refine your results, such as narrowing the date range, for instance, if you want articles from the last five years only. You can also click on any of the articles to see what subject headings were used. Just click the article title, then scroll down to where it says Subjects. The terms listed here are the subject headings that were assigned to this record. Subject headings are like tags that are assigned to the article to describe exactly what they are about. PubMed, for example, uses MeSH headings, but keep in mind that DOS uses its own headings, which may be different. If you know the subjects you want to use, searching with subjects can be a great way to locate the most useful articles. To do this, return to the search box on the main screen and click in the box marked Select a Field and choose Subject Terms from the drop-down list, then enter your term. If you would like to review your previous searches or combine previous searches using AND or OR, you can click the Search History button found under the search boxes. This search history keeps track of all your searches, so you can combine your different searches to get the most complete set of results. So that's DOS. It is easy to use and dentistry specific. While comprehensive searches will still require searching in other databases, DOS is a great starting point for dental literature searches. It also gives us full text, online access to tons of top dental journals, which generally makes things easier. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.